Yes, indeed. Welcome everybody to the channel. If you are new here, first and foremost, make, the hit, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's very important to become a member of the home team. It's 100% free. Also to make sure to drop a like on this video. Those are the best two ways to support the channel and your support is greatly appreciated. Also make sure to leave that bell notification lit. That bell notification needs to be on so that you know that I'm on. We go live over here. If you are new to the channel, we go live over here for very, for actually a lot of releases almost daily i'm talking about we go for hype and general release items make sure that you're in position to get your sneakers your fittest or your other sought after items that we will be going for live for retail so as you see on screen we will be getting a release some fittest will be dropping um in celebration of the fourth of july we got it right around the corner i hope everybody's ready for it so yeah, we will be seeing a collection on Crown Minded tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. The drop will happen at 6 p.m. Pacific. All right. So that's what? 9 a actually 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure that you uh have that notification bell on. We will be going live before this release goes live. So let's get into it. So as you see on screen, we will have a handful of teams that will release all right so they do have a few uh rules it says limit one per customer um multiple orders will be canceled okay that says limit one per customer per team okay so one hat per customer per team multiple orders will be canceled keep that in mind going for this release so you see it on screen as you can tell from the backdrop the red the white and the blue so we got several teams that will be dropping Overall, I think you can't go wrong with a Navy. Apparently, they're giving it that that uh, that American red, white, and blue colorway. I really like these hats, actually. Um, take a quick second to look at them and get in the comment section and let me know what you think about these colorways. All right? And I say colorway, all of them are the same. I should be more specific. What do you think about the colorway on each team hat? All right, get in the comment section and let me know. I know a lot of people like a good number of these teams that's up here. Um, but if I had to rank them, which I like for everybody to take a second and rank them in the chat, rank them in the comment section. Um, wow. For some reason, this San Diego Padres with that smaller logo on the front really draws me in. I think that's a nice, I think that's a nice hat. You can't go wrong with the LA Dodgers. And um, my third pick, wow. I usually, I usually do not pick a Yankees hat, but that one is strong. So is San Fran. But I'm going to go, I'm going to go off. Actually, I'm going to do a little swap, actually, just based on the side patch. I think I'm going to go with San Diego because of that front logo mainly. I'm going to go with the Yankees. And I'm going to go also with the Rangers. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know. If I had to put them in order, for some reason, I'm going San Diego. I'm going Texas, and then I'm going New York. Nice colorway. Let's go through the hats and take a quick look at them. So it does say red, white, and blue with glow-in-the-dark elements. Not bad. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. This is, this is a nice collection. Wow. After seeing San Diego now... I'm gonna have to put Texas first, New York second, and San Diego third. I'm still going with San Diego. Uh, the glow in the dark elements. Keep in mind this only this is only gonna be visible under low light. Um, but for the most part, every single team is impressive. I don't see the Astros though. I, I I knew there was a gap between us somewhere. Yeah, I don't see the Astros. I wonder if that's just like an error or something. We'll we'll keep we'll keep looking. So yeah, this is uh the teams and the side patches. That Boston is nice. Uh, the Rockies is nice too. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this uh, patch on the side of the uh, the Tigers, but and the LA is weak, man. That side patch is weak in my opinion. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know if y'all disagree with those uh, statements. Everybody like different things, so I get it. Uh, get in the comments, let me know. Uh, wow, yeah. You can't go wrong with that 1990 on the Cubs. 
that San Francisco patch is very strong. So is that Yankees. Yeah, I think that was a solid, a solid pick. Um, Philly ain't bad either. These are some well-made hats. As you can tell, the colorway is on point with 4th of July. And you also have a red undervisor. Nice touch. Wow. That Texas is nice. The Angels ain't bad either. I'm kind of good on this. I'm good on this one, though. I'm not. Ah, yeah, I'm good. This this will probably be my last choice. San Diego. I'm starting to veer away from si San Diego after seeing those side patches on these hats. So let's keep it moving. Ah, uh, All right. So keep in mind. Keep in mind. The Astros. If anybody's going for the Astros, only the Batterman glows in the dark. So you don't get any of those, those glow elements on the Astros hat. Which really made sense now that I was thinking it was maybe some type of lighting issue why it didn't light up. Like maybe they didn't hit it with enough sunlight or natural light for it to glow. But the Astros is right here. And as you can tell, it doesn't glow. We'll go through it. It's right here between San Diego and the Rockies. And uh, no, it does not glow. Not even the side patch. The front logo doesn't glow. The side patch doesn't glow. You get no glow elements other than the batterman in the back. So keep that in mind. Um, all of these other hats, Texas doesn't appear. I may be wrong. Okay, Texas does glow slightly on the side patch. Let's make sure we can look at all side patches. We can't see the Angels. We can't see the Rockies. We can see a hit on both of these. You can't see on the Tigers. Okay, so keep in mind. The side patches should have glow elements, but from this angle, you really can't see all fitted. Y'all keep this in mind. These hats, I believe, will be sought after. It's unknown what the stock numbers will be, but I would say the demand will be pretty high because there are a lot of people who are looking forward to this uh, 4th of July holiday and probably would like a match and fit it. Um, get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. But there's one more thing I need to go with, go over with before we jump off. Um, somebody asked the question, will they arrive before the 4th of July, which is a solid question. And uh, it was replied to. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a reply on that. Will they arrive before the 4th? Crown Minded responded to the question, said shipping options available at checkout for your reference. So I think it's safe to say they are not guaranteeing a July 4th arrival. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about these fittings that will be dropping on Crown Minded tomorrow. We will be live for this release. Make sure that you stay tapped into the channel by making sure that bell notification is on after you subscribe. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'm out. Peace.